Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I am going to be doing your November 21st to the 30th, 2018 reading for you. Now I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards, so we are going to see what these 10 days have in store for you guys, and I hope you are doing absolutely wonderfully. It is such a pleasure to be reading for you all. So I want you to know that I, I know that you probably know this, but I'm using the Bitty Tarot deck. It is a mini deck, which I love because it fits my hands so well. I have kind of smaller hands, so these are very easy to shuffle and to maneuver so this is beautiful and I love their simplicity their simplicity I was given them as a gift and I didn't think I would love them so much but I am so excited to be able to share their energy with you and be able to read these cards for you guys so let's see what these 10 days are going to have in store for you Capricorn Sun Moon or Ascendant and if you would like to book a private reading with me all that information will be in the description box below all right Oh, that's really nice. Two gifts. That's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, a wish granted. Oh. Okay, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is absolutely beautiful. You are putting down the burdens that you have been carrying. You're getting a gift of of love and of knowing your mind and knowing the prosperity that you want to move forward in. There's a sense here of you being passionate as you embrace the next phase in your life. And for some of you, this is going to be, if you're in a relationship, this is going to be a deeper level of commitment that is coming your way. And for others of you, if you're not in a relationship or you're not looking for a deeper commitment, this is really focusing on what it is that brings you joy and happiness into your home and into the prosperity of what you want. And you reaching the kind of not the, just not the pinnacle of your success. I don't want to say that you are going to be kind of, this is you working towards your bounty and your achievements. This is you really sitting there, knowing your mind, knowing what it is that you want and being able to see that you can s scale new heights, that you can achieve what it is that you have set out to achieve. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. So this is really you getting what you wish for and moving forward in love and just things kind of falling into place after a time of carrying more than your fair share. Okay, so your first card is the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is saying that you have been carrying all your passion, all your creativity, everything that you want from life for a really long time. And you've had, you have a tendency, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, to carry the weight of other people too, carry their burden, sit there and want to ease their load. But what this card is telling me to tell you is to focus on yourself. Some people, not some people, everybody needs to go through their ups and downs and their disappointments and to take the responsibility of other people's actions away from them might seem as if you're helping them, but just prolongs their learning process. So it might sound callous and it might sound cruel to say this, but this is you taking all your passion, all your creativity, and really focusing on what it is that you want, how it is that you want to move forward, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Not sitting there and saying, okay, I have to do this for somebody else and I have to do this for this person, but really sitting there and saying, how is it that I can better myself and move forward in my glory and in my understanding? Because the better you are, the better you feel about yourself, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, the more you address your personal prosperity, the more prosperity is going to come into your life. And this is where you're being given a gift by the universe, by the divine, of knowing your mind, knowing what it is that you want. It's kind of like you've been carrying something so long, wanting to create something, wanting to bring something into this earthly realm that is super beautiful, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And now you have the clarity of mind and the clarity of realization to be able to put, to take that passion and make it into a reality and make it into something absolutely beautiful. And for me, the aces are gifts cards. So this is saying that you are being given a gift of knowing your mind, of creatively knowing what it is that you want and knowing how it is that you want to move forward. Take it. Don't sit there and say, oh, not now. Oh, maybe later. Take it. Even if it's just jotting down a note, even if you're super busy during these 10 days and you don't have the time to start a new project or start something new, this is going to be something that really helps you move forward in work, in your home life, in your studies, in wherever it is that you are, in whatever it is that you want to excel at and create a new level of success for yourself. 
you are going to be given an idea that helps you achieve that goal. And it might seem small and it might seem silly, but it's one little thought that is actually going to move you forward into the prosperity, in the prosperity that you want. Your next card is the Knight of Wands. Now this can represent a fire sign, a Leo, a, oh my gosh, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or a, an Aries. There we go. But this is also representing you. This is you being passionate about something. We have you carrying your passion here, focusing on your desires, what it is that you want, how it is that you want to move forward, getting an idea, getting a spark of creativity, really honing in your mind. And now you're sitting there and you kind of have this fire lit in your belly of the way you want to move forward, of the way you want to succeed, of what you want to create. Sagittarius. Capricorn. There we go. Sun, moon, or ascendant. You know what it is that you want. You know how it is that you want to move forward. And you have that fire. You see how in his head, how he has the flames. And even the horse's mane looks like flames. And his hooves right down here. So there is something that you are passionate about that you are leading, that is leading you forward, that is leading you to something more. And you're actually turning towards what it is that you've been carrying. So there is something that you have been carrying with you, that you have been wanting to create, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, that you are now finding the time, the energy, and the wherewithal to be able to bring it into life, to move yourself forward. For some of you, this is going to be a idea that moves you forward in business, that you sit there and it's able to help you achieve things in the here and the now for the prosperity on this, for your prosperity on this earthly plane. For others of you, it's taking something that you've wanted to do for a really long time. It could be starting your own business. It could be starting a creative process or project and finally, having the time or the wherewithal to start it. I mean, to put all those notes together, to put all the ideas together and start the project that you have been really secretly desiring, okay? And you've kept it to yourself, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You've kept it to yourself, but it's a soul's wish. Whatever you're starting here is a soul's wish and you're finding that balance. You're finding that understanding and you're being a given, and you're being given a gift of love. The Ace of Cups is saying that God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing you this gift of love, is handing you this gift of prosperity, okay? And I love that this bird is dropping in a whiffer into this cup. It could be very religious. If you are Christian, you know, this has a very religious understone. For those of you who aren't or don't believe in that, that is perfectly fine. This is saying that you are being given a gift of love that is giving you peace and it is cleansing away any doubts and any fears that you have had. You might be sitting there and you might have wanted to do something in Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant for a really long time, okay? You've had this desire, you've had this dream, and you've had this doubt. Can you achieve it? Can you succeed it? Will you be making a fool of yourself? Will, should you go after it? It's better to have a dream and to talk about it and to sit there and say in your head, oh, I could achieve that if I wanted to, and never know the pain of failure. Know the pain that, you know, maybe you couldn't achieve it. Here, you're being given a gift of love. It is washing away your soul. It's bringing you this peace with this lotus flower here, the centering of yourself. And it might be for some of you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, not that you will fail, because that's not what I'm saying at all. It's that you're washing away the sorrow of the what ifs, of the fear that has been holding you back. Think of the cleansing waters washing away and think of kind of shedding tears within your soul and saying, you know, and if I fail, quoting Emily Dickinson here, and if I fail, at least I know the worst is sweet. Okay. This isn't talking about failure, but this is talking about giving yourself the right to be imperfect in this world and in our existence right now. In humanity everybody has to be perfect everybody has to be the very very best that they can be and if they aren't perfect if they aren't photographed smiling and looking adoringly at each other and just being the picture of happiness and success and prosperity and beauty then you know they aren't really succeeding okay take that burden off of yourself the ace of cups is washing away doubts and fears it's washing away negativity and it's cleansing you okay Think of it as healing waters, cleansing you and moving you forward. This is also saying, you know, centering yourself is going to be fantastic. Washing away any negativity. So taking an Epsom salt bath is a fantastic way to wash away negativity and ground your spirit. 
Know that you are moving forward. Know that you are achieving. Know that you are succeeding. And know that this is a gift. So take it. This is a gift of emotional freedom. To be who it is that you want to be. To achieve what you want to achieve. And to move forward in the way that you want to move forward. Because there is bounty coming into your life. There is success. There is happiness. There is celebration. And here it looks like a wedding, right? But this doesn't have to be something so permanent. For those of you who want to and that's what you want in your life and that's the goal that you have been working towards, then it's saying that you're getting closer and closer to that committed relationship. But for those of you who are sitting there and saying, Dane, that's so off the mark, this is saying that prosperity, bounty, and beauty is coming into your home, is coming into your life, a celebration with family, with friends, a sense of feeling complete and safe and secure within your existence is moving you forward. And you are absolutely embracing it. And the Hierophant here makes me think of the quote by Pablo Picasso. And he said that his mother told him that if he was to be a priest, he would become a pope. If he was to be a doctor, he would become a surgeon. But he was an artist and he became Picasso. It is saying that you can rise. Do not limit yourself by the expectations of society. Do not limit yourself by doubts and fears. You are setting yourself free and you are giving yourself the kingdom, the keys to the kingdom, whatever kingdom that is for you, whatever level of prosperity that is for you, whatever sense of absolute success that is for you, you can achieve it if you believe in yourself, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And this isn't saying that it's going to be without hard work. This isn't saying that you aren't going to, you know, struggle and fall and fail at times, but you are not going to let that stop you. And you are taking your passion and you are creating something beautiful. And you're knowing your mind and you're charging forward. This is saying that you get your wish, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You move forward in your bounty, in your beauty, in your prosperity. Again, cleansing waters. The healing prosperity of the spiritual world is coming into you. You're being blessed. And I think of the stars here as ancestors. I don't know why. But here it makes me think of ancestors coming and blessing you as you move forward. Looking down at you and smiling at the decisions that you're making. Smiling at the way that your determination is guiding you forward. Okay, not every moment of every day is spent in the pursuit of the success that you want, but you are being guided and you are being gifted and you are gifted with knowing that success is coming and with your wishes being heard and being granted. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And then you have the Page of Cups. Now this can represent a water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces, but this is also representing you. Being a student of what it is that you love, finding the bounty and the beauty that you desire in your life, and moving forward with love and serenity of soul at your center. It could be that somebody helps you move forward, it could be youthful energy around you, a child, or something like that, but this is saying that you are embracing that youthful discovery, that youthful energy of discovering what it is that you love, of following your bliss, of following your happiness, and embracing this joy in your life and letting it be a part of you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're being given a gift of knowing your own mind. You're taking your passions, your creativity. With this knowledge and understanding, you're creating something that brings you beauty, that you love. You're cleansing yourself. You're letting go of sorrows and doubts and fears, and you are moving forward in beauty, prosperity, harmony, and peace. Absolutely embracing what it is that you desire and creating what it is that you want from your life, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This can be within work. This can be within home. This can be within school. This could be within any aspect that you desire, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. It's going to be different for each and every one of you because this is a general reading, but there is something that you want to create in your life and you are embracing it and you are moving forward. You are going to be successful, okay? It may not be, you know, A-list movie star successful, but there is going to be a level of success that you are embracing. There's also going to be a level of success for those of you in a relationship putting down your burdens, healing love, knowing your mind, moving forward in passion and creativity. For those of you who want to move to the next level in your relationship, there is the potential for that to happen here, for that harmony to move you forward. But for those of you who want to move forward in your career, who are looking to embrace kind of the next step in your existence and the next step in the prosperity that will be able to bless your home and yourself, 
you are able to achieve beautiful things. Don't lose faith in yourself. Accept these gifts because they're going to help you bring the success that you want. And then there's prosperity coming into the home. Celebration of family and friends. You get your wish, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And it lets you have the love that you desire in your life. Your subconscious message is the devil card. Don't be afraid of it. Okay, this is the devil, an atypical demon-like creature. You know, looks like the devil here, holding the chains of a naked man and a naked woman. This is being chained to base desires. This is sitting there and absolutely caring too much what everybody else thinks, keeping up with the Joneses, keeping up with the Kardashians, being chained to something that isn't your soul's desire, that doesn't bring you joy and prosperity into your life, into your soul. This is sitting there and letting other people dictate what success is for you. It's combated by the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. This is knowing what your, your idea of success is. This is washing away the pains of the past and washing away the expectations that society has put on you and following what it is that you love. Let your soul be free from these chains and embrace your idea of prosperity. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Embrace your idea of success and tell, you know, the devil to hightail it because you are achieving your goals in your dreams. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.